So I'm sure you guys know that Roblox Public UDC has been out for about four or five days now. Hang on one sec, let me just check my channel. So yeah, my last video, here it is. It's officially released, Public UDC is here. That was, oh, four days ago. Okay, well, um, that's pretty interesting because considering it's only been out for like a very short amount of time, it has done some serious irreversible damage. Obviously we had stuff like this, the disgusting 18 plus inappropriate stuff, you know, on a kid's platform like Roblox. Like, you know, what the heck is going on. It's just awful, isn't it? However, one thing I haven't covered yet, and um, this is the main reason why I'm making this video right now, pretty much, yeah, a ton of people's stuff is getting stolen and copied. And guess what? It's happening to me. Now, with my stuff being copied, I've always been kind of lenient with it, because if you think about it, right, tons of people copy my shirts and pants on Roblox, and to be honest, I'm kind of fine with it. I could easily copyright strike them down, but I just sort of let it slide. Some people even upload my videos on different platforms like TikTok and Billy Billy. That's like the Chinese version of YouTube if you've never heard of it. And to be honest, when people do that, I'm kind of fine with it because I don't really use those platforms myself. I would say the main thing that kind of annoyed me with people copying and taking my stuff was the YouTube thumbnails, like the Lenchik situation, the Russian guy that was stealing all of my stuff. When that was happening back in 2019, 2020, yeah, that really did make my blood boil. That made me furious because obviously I was spending a lot of time making this stuff and that's silly prick was stealing everything. So obviously the fact that public UDC is now here, it's basically like another opportunity for people to steal my stuff, which, um, you know, isn't too great. At first, I didn't really think much of this, but then people started taking my off-sell items and started selling them. And when I saw that happening, I thought, okay, I should probably put a stop to this just so it doesn't keep happening because otherwise it's going to get silly. So I tweeted this out back in April, uh, April 17th. This is why I'm making the video like a few days later because finally I can strike them down. So what I said, guys, I posted here, I get some people don't understand copyright, but I can't be having all my stuff stolen. I'll be sending out copyright strikes in a few days, so for anyone that stole my stuff, if you don't want to get banned, archive the mesh before it's too late. Now, I've been told by a few people that Roblox has temporarily disabled archiving, which is a bit dodgy, but then again, considering public QDC is here, I can kind of see why they did it. So as you can see, I just used like a few examples. I was actually quoting a tweet of somebody which stole the uh, graveyard edge sword. You can see here my cursed graffiti trend hat, like a bucket hat style thing. Somebody stole it and called it the Audio Maker Trendy Cap. Now at first I didn't think it was a copy because they've done something very weird with the mesh. They've like messed it up completely. But I did import it into Blender and it turns out, yep, it's a duplicate copy. Anyway, so I found it on the website and um, considering they have taken it off sale, I believe before they left it on sale, which is why it was a bit annoying. Yeah, considering it's now off sale, you can see it's literally exactly the same. I've decided not to strike it. However, if they do put this back on sale, I will take take it down for sure. One thing that hasn't been taken down though is the Shark Blocks Trash Club Mask Inverted. Obviously this is like one of my original creations. I literally have this on my account right now. I was going to make it a free UGC Limited before Roblox destroyed the price and just made everything so expensive. So yeah, this was a thing made by me. If I go into accessories, face accessories, as you can see, I uploaded it, yeah, not too long ago. So what these guys did is they discovered I uploaded this, they downloaded the mesh and texture, and then uploaded it themselves using public UGC. Normally, I wouldn't really care so much, but these guys are selling it. Um, so I'm definitely going to be copyright striking this in a bit. We'll test it out and see how it works, I guess. There's another one as well. Normally, I wouldn't really strike this, but considering they're selling it after my Twitter warning, it's been a few days now. So um, yeah, this one will also be getting striked. Obviously, it's a ripoff of my Graveyard Edge sword with a really ugly texture. Yeah, what the heck? is? It's like pixelated. Where the heck did he get this from? And then there's another one as well. Um, that looks like a core blocks texture or something weird. I don't know what the heck is going on. On there. This one is off sale, so I don't really care so much. And so then obviously we have the green one. I think people took my YouTube tutorial a bit too literally. I did a video showing you how to like um, apply like, you know, meshes and textures on Roblox Studio and then upload them via public UDC. I didn't think that would mean people would like think to use my mesh and texture. Like Jesus Christ. Some people really don't have a brain, do they? Anyway, this one is off sale, so I don't really care about it so much. If they do start selling it though, then yes, I will take it down. Anyway, let's take the other stuff down. So let's go to create. Then we're going to go to the rights manager. What we're going to do is we're going to do start registration. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to have to censor anything here. So I'm ID verified, email verified. So next rights holder. Okay. I am the rights holder, my full name. So yeah, this is not good. This is exactly the same copyright system that YouTube use, which obviously makes sense because you know, you would imagine the copyright system to be the same throughout multiple different websites. So yeah, if 
you guys don't know how YouTube works, it's like a flawed system. If anybody copyright strikes your video, if you go to appeal it, they will get your full name and address. So yeah, somebody which is stealing your stuff is literally given your docs, basically. It's disgusting. I hate this copyright stuff. If you guys ever wonder why so many like YouTubers addresses get like, you know, put online and public and stuff, it's pretty much because of the copyright system. It's just horribly broken. Um, oh god, I don't know what to do now. Verista Clothing. I don't really know if I want these guys to have my address. Yeah, who the heck is this? What a weirdo. They're stealing so much copyrighted stuff. Oh no, it seems it's happening to Eurus as well. So yeah, I'm not alone. This is happening to many different people. It's really annoying. I'll tell you what guys, I'll come back in a second and I'll find out about the address thing because yeah, this is sketchy otherwise. Copyright systems are just really flipping dodgy. Okay, so I found out guys, unfortunately, you definitely need to add your address. And here's the massive issue I found. So if you add your address right, and let's say my takedown was countered by the people which stole my mask, well, Roblox would actually forward my address to them. So it's kind of similar with YouTube, like it's very easy to get yourself doxxed. Oh my god, this is a horrible system. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure out how to do this properly. I'm gonna have to do it off camera, I guess, because there's just too much private information. But yeah, that's what it's called anyway, the rights manager. You guys are welcome to try it if somebody tries to steal your UDC creation. Just keep that in mind, um, because obviously I don't want you guys to have your address stolen. So yeah, horrible system. Another thing we were thinking about is somebody like commissioned the modeler, and then if the modeler uploaded the mesh and texture in Studio first, technically the modeler owns the copyright to the item because they uploaded it first. So yeah, this whole thing's just such a mess really. Um, God damn. I will try my best to get this taken down though. Oh, and I just want to say don't buy this thing because they actually messed up the scaling. Look at that. That is horrible. How the hell did they do that? I was wondering why it looks so terrible on my avatar. It's because they've completely screwed it up. So yeah, don't buy any of these like copies or ripoffs. They're so ugly. The only thing I could possibly do is get somebody else to report this for me on my behalf, but then that might cost me money. Actually, I don't know. How expensive is that? Maybe if it keeps happening, I'll just do this and just pay for it. It's like a, you know, a one-time thing. Yeah, so far though, this is like really, really bad. Oh, I did get this funny message on Twitter. So let me just read this before I finish the video. This was so hilarious. I just had to add it in. So this guy, kind of angry, I guess, by the tone of his tweet. You literally make tutorials on how to create an exact replica of some of your creations. Yep, that's definitely true. I've got loads of Blender tutorials on the channel. However, I'm not that stupid. I'm not going to copyright strike somebody's UDC item that followed one of my Blender tutorials. I don't really know what point this guy's trying to make. Plus, didn't you say that the copyright system shouldn't be enforced on a kid's game? Yes, I definitely did. But I said that towards companies which are taking down stuff like shirts and pants and t-shirts. So like the whole Adidas strike situation. I think it's fair to say there's a massive difference between a pixel logo and an accessory mesh and texture that I paid for. Obviously, anybody can go into Google Images and upload like a copyrighted logo. Like, who cares about that? But with meshes and textures, I think it's a bit different. Also, at least inform these kids on Roblox messages of these stolen content and give them a few days to delete it. Um, no, I'm not going to be messaging people because it's pretty obvious. And also, I've already given them a few days. So, um, yeah, there you go. I just thought this tweet was so funny. I had to add it. I thought it was important I should make this video anyway because, um, yeah, I just want to say don't copy our stuff. It's um, really not a good idea and I will try and get them taken down. I've just got to figure out the address thing because, you know, I'm not trying to dox myself. I saw Jaunty was talking about this on Twitter. So if you guys don't know who Jaunty Ape Games is, he's like one of the original Roblox asset creators. So he made this accessory for Roblox back in 2012. It was actually a cancelled accessory, meaning Roblox never uploaded it. And pretty much what somebody did is they went on the Roblox wiki, like cancelled and deleted items, and they just downloaded it and then re-uploaded it. We can probably find it actually. So what was it? 2012. Um, so it'd be somewhere here. I don't know why out of all the accessories they uploaded this, but yeah, people are funny, aren't they? So I'm guessing it's somewhere here. Where is it? They probably thought they would get away with it, but clearly they haven't. There's probably loads of this stuff which is getting re-uploaded. Oh, there it is. So the ribbit's knit. Yep, somebody just downloaded the mesh and texture right here and uh, remade it on Roblox Studio, which is quite funny. But then again, it's not really theirs. I guess they will get away with it though, because it was kind of cancelled. Still not really fair on Jaunty though, because he made this thing. I guess he did sell it to Roblox, so um, yeah, I don't think Roblox would DMCA this, but we'll have to see what happens. So public UDC is getting worse. Well, what a surprise.